Let me begin by saying that I am not a chef. I'm not even the person that cooks most in my family. So that means that if I can do this, you can totally do this. So let's get started. What I'm doing here first is I am adding one cup of cool water with the provided citric acid that's already measured out. And then I'm stirring it to combine. You see the size of this pan? Yeah, it's way too small. Don't use the pan this small. See, I told you, this pan was way too small. And now for some movie magic. Okay, for the next step, you're gonna add your citric acid water mixture to the pot of milk and then you are going to stir it in and then you're going to turn the heat on. I had mine on medium. While your mixture heats up on the stove, uh, in a separate bowl you're going to add your cold water and your rennet and mix this together and let it dissolve. Okay, back to what was happening on the stove. You're going to be heating up your milk and citric acid mixture, stirring it until it hits 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which this thermometer that we've provided will come in handy for. Once you've reached that temperature, remove it from the heat. Okay, so now we're gonna add the dissolved rennet into your milk citric acid mixture. And at this point, you're gonna stir to combine it but not just a normal stir. We're gonna be doing a very strange up and down motion stir. And you do this for 30 seconds. All right, for the next step, you are going to let this sit undisturbed and covered for five minutes. So check it after that time has passed. If it hasn't separated from the whey, it might take a little bit longer. Be patient, it just takes a while. I might have taken it off a little bit too early, but it ended up okay. All right, so the next step is you need to take a knife and cut the curds into one inch cubes. All right, it's time to take out your thermometer again. We're going to be heating this situation up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now take the wooden spoon and stir it in a clockwise manner for two to three minutes. I guess the longer you stir, the more firm the cheese is going to be. The important thing to remember here is to stir it carefully because if you get in there with too much motion, then the curds are going to break up. Okay, now that you've stirred it and it's ready to go, we're going to scoop it out and put it into a colander over a bowl if you want to save the whey. And we're gonna do this until all of the curds have been removed from the original pan. All right, so the next step is we are going to press as much liquid as we can out of the curds inside of the colander. Okay, so according to Ricky Carroll, the next step is to put the mass onto a cutting board, cut it into eighth inch slices, kind of like brisket, and then you put you submerge these slices into a hot water bath of 180 degrees, and you work the pieces together by pressing them together and folding them together in the pan. As you can see, I tried that. Maybe I didn't do it right. 
it didn't work for me. And if it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, I actually have a hack that will make it easier. And that hack involves, you guessed it, a microwave. It might be cheating, but I don't care. I'm not a professional chef. Put your curd mass in a microwave safe bowl and microwave it for one minute. All right, and take it back to the cutting board and put on those gloves that are heat resistant because we are going to be manipulating it. And I kind of feel like the motion is very similar to bread. You're kind of folding it in on itself and continue doing this until it cools off enough that you can no longer mold it and then repeat the microwave situation. Okay, back to the cutting board. We are getting closer. It's starting to more resemble mozzarella cheese, which is exciting because that's what we're making. We're gonna keep folding it in until it stretches like taffy and develops a sheen. Now is also the part where you can incorporate some of the cheese salt that we've provided in the bag. So manipulate that into the cheese and continue the steps until it resembles mozzarella cheese. Once you've gotten your mozzarella to a place that you're happy with, submerge it into a bowl of ice water, let it chill, and there you go. Congratulations, you have made mozzarella.